yearning for love in a relationship, whether I will or won't realize it later on, only about the love itself as something very basic, that if a person had one relationship and another and another and he doesn't want to get married, but still, he always wants love in a relationship. I don't know if there still is such a thing. I think that it's quite some time now that people aren't thinking about it. Of course, it does exist, but it's not that they're looking for it. Look, for this too, we have to teach people, we have to educate them, for them to know what kind of love could there be. Love, the way I remember what my teacher said is that love is like a pet, a domestic pet, that you have to raise it together to all the time, take care of it, raise it, invest in it, meaning it doesn't exist to begin with. But we have to turn to it with the assumption that there is no love. And it can be only to the extent to which we make mutual concessions. Make mutual concessions. Correspondingly, we can examine our love, measure it, to the extent to which I want to concede from myself, to annul myself towards my spouse, and my spouse also does the same towards me, but it's not obligatory. And then, out of both of these concessions, or at least a one-sided concession, out of that I build love. The connection that will then be only in return for my concession will be called love. It's not the kind of love where I love her hair and hands and feet and so on, God forbid. It's not a love that she knows how to cook, and it's not a kind of love where we have certain inclinations, that we like the same things. But love, to begin with, it doesn't exist because everyone loves themselves. Everyone's inside their own ego and self-love. And to the extent to which I, from the 100% of my ego that this is how I am, I'm willing to concede and give her a part of my ego for her to be there, suppose. That means that to that extent, I make room for love. Meaning to the extent to which I concede myself, I annul myself, to that extent, love can exist. And then, imagine how much education, correct education and preparation we need for it. So that a couple, that this is how they connect, and that they reach, suppose a young couple, and that they reach a state where they will know how to start working this way between them. Meaning, it's really spiritual work above one's corporeal thoughts and feelings. It's the opposite of a person's own character, habits, the opposite of a person's will to receive pleasure, but to really act to the benefit of the other. In the meantime, it's the other. And to feel the other as your spouse to the extent to which you have opened and made room for them in your heart. Meaning, to the extent to which I, in my big, closed, egoistic heart, made room for her to be there, and in this area, in the heart, I care only for her and not for myself at all. So, this feeling inside my heart, that there is someone else there, not me, this feeling is called love.